Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I hope that you are, are having a beautiful day. I have a word for y'all because it is so much going on. I know y'all see it. I know y'all see it. I am seeing too much energy being given to the enemy. It is too much energy being given to the enemy. Everybody, I'm I'm looking, I'm like, where is the faith? Where is people faith? Where is people, you know, people are still not repenting. People are still not turning to our father, our creator. And it's just so much fear. People are pushing so much fear. And in this time, in this season, in this hour, we need more people that's going to bring some sense of peace in, in, in these hours. Our Father, a higher in his son, Yasha. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Our Father does not give us a spirit of fear. He gives us a spirit of love and sound mind. He does not give us a spirit of fear. If you are fearing, let me tell you this. If you are fearing anything, that comes from the devil. It's coming from the devil. You need to reevaluate what's going on in your life. Take it to the Father in prayer and come from out of it. Come from, come from out of it. It's too much fear being pushed in this world. So I want to be the one that give y'all an encouraging word. In these last hours, we need to turn to our Father. Repent, turn from sin, be obedient to the laws and commands of our Father. And stop letting people push fear. Your Father loves you. Your Father in heaven, He loves you. He wants no one to perish. How we do that is just be obedient to his laws and commands. Repent, turn from sin, turn from sin. If you are sinning, you are giving Satan a foothold in your life. Let me explain how this works. You have been given power over the enemy. The enemy doesn't want you to know that. You already have your foot on his neck. You have to keep your foot on his neck. How we do that is stay away from sin. Soon as you allow sin in your life, you let the Okay, this let me explain. This is this is Satan. This is your foot. As soon as you you know he's gonna tempt you, he'll try to tempt you to do something. But sin doesn't happen until you activate on it, right? So you're going to you know start thinking about it, say, oh, okay, you know, it's whatever it's whatever this temptation is, right? Um and then you you act on it. You act on the sin. So that's letting the letting the enemies you took your foot off his neck, right? But then the enemy, he still has to go to the one who has all power. He has to go to our father and get permission and say, see, see, he's the accuser. He runs to, he's like a big tattletale. You know what I'm saying? He's a big tattletale because one thing, he's jealous of us. He's jealous of us. He don't like that the fact that our father has gave us power over him. He, he never liked, he never liked that because he was like, I'm going to create a lesser creature and I'm going to give him power over you like Adam and Eve in the garden. So he, he was very upset. So He's like this. He's running to our father and telling, say, see, see, look, they're sinning. They're sinning. Can I, can I do this? Can I do this? Then the father has to give permission to Satan to inhabit your life or the enemy to inhabit your life because the father say yay or nay. It's whatever the father says. So if the father says, no, leave him alone, it's nothing, 
the enemy can do to you. So, for example, have you ever done something and you got away with it? You know, that was the grace. That was the grace. The father seen it, but he was like, no, don't don't mess with him this time. Just he, he, he lets you slide and then, you know, then you then you do it. Then you do it again. You know, and then the father going to say, you know what? See, they ain't going to learn. Now I'm going to have to punish. I have to, you know, I'm going to have to, the father going to have to punish you. So this is when he allows, and then your foot is back on, hold on, let me get there. <laughs> then your foot is back on Satan's neck, right? Your foot back and your foot. Man, man, no, 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 no barking. Then your foot is back on Satan's neck. Then once you sin again, when you sin again, you take your foot off his neck and then the father may allow him this time to inhabit your life because he like, okay, you, you didn't learn from the first time. So you know what? I'm going to let the enemy come in and inhabit your life. So yes, Satan go in and whatever and, and, you know, then things start happening bad in your life. Let me tell y'all, you have power over the enemy. How we keep the power over him is turn from sin. That's it. If you're sinning, if you're not being obedient to the father, if you're not following his laws and commands, you are in danger you are in danger there is no middle ground it's either you love the father or you hate the father there's no straddling the fence there's no middle ground you gonna have to pick a side it's over here or over here you have to the father says those that love me are obedient and follow my laws and commands if you're not doing that, you, listen, a lot of people can say out their mouth, I love the father. No, I really love the father. Okay. Granted, you love the father. Let's say, okay, you say you love the father. Look at the Ten Commandments and see how many of those commands that you follow. Or if you even know them. If you don't even know them, the father does not know you. Because some of us don't even know the Ten Commandments, let alone follow them. Let me tell you something. Turning from sin, repenting, being obedient to our father is the way that is the way to the narrow, narrow it's the narrow gate broad lead up to the road of destruction and narrow leads in the father says there are only a few that's going to find it satan does not care if he take you out knowingly or unknowingly because the father does say many will perish for the lack of knowledge many will not have love for the truth, yet will continue on to believe a lie, and the, that lie will lead them to their demise. It's things that are written in the word that cannot be, you know, you can't, you can't negate it. You can't negate the words of the Father. What he says is what he says. We have to turn back to our father, go to the father in prayer. This is urgent. This is so urgent that we do this. Stop fearing. Stop following people that's pushing fear. Stop following these ones that don't have an, an encouraging word because you need encouraging words in these hours. You need to know what your father is saying bringing people back to the father letting them know how they get back to the father take everything to our father in prayer if it's something you have 
struggling with is a stronghold in your life, take it to the Father in prayer. He's going to help you with his stop, making it seem like you can cover up something because the Father sees your very thoughts. He sees your motives. He sees your heart. He knows everything that you're going to do before you do it. He knows what you're going to do 10 minutes from now. Before you even do it, he knows what you're going to do. He knew everything you was going to do before you, when he formed you in your mother's womb. When he formed us in our mother's womb, he knew our whole life. Every step that we was going to take, every mistake, every... But he's sitting there waiting for you to come to him. And so he can help you with these things. He, uh, he understands that we're human. We're not perfect. We, we, but he's trying to get us perfect. He's trying to shape and mold us into the person that he want us to be. We got to stop giving so much in energy to the enemy. The enemy has no power over you. Has no power. You the one who give the enemy the power. You give it to him by sinning. When you sin, you give a foothold to Satan in your life. Bottom line. So whatever that sin is, you know what it is. You, I don't know. Whatever that sin is, you need to take that sin to the Father and ask the Father to help you with it. If it's a, a sin that's, that, you don't, that you're unaware of, grace kicks in. Grace kicks in. The Father's going to give you grace. But once he knows you know the truth, no. He expects for you to do right once he brings you into the truth about something. So if he didn't told you, okay, and you read in the scripture, say, um, your, your children. Okay, we're going to say, for example, parents, that the ones that have children. You 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 have a uh, maybe a five year old and that that child didn't really know any better. Okay, you sat down, you had to talk with them and say no, don't you know this is the way you do it. You don't you know and sat down and you already had a long talk with your your child, and then the child goes back to school and do the same thing or the same thing that you had to talk with them about. See now the second time you're gonna punish. Or you're going to powwow on the butt, okay? You going, that's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do at that point. So this is how our father is. Our father will have grace for, the, when, for what we don't know. But once you know, and then you still willfully, let me, willful sin. Okay, turn with me real quick to Hebrews chapter 10. We're going to read verse, starting at verse 26, okay? It says right here, For if we deliberately go on sinning after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a terrifying expectation of judgment and fury and the fury of a fire about to consume the adversaries. Anyone who disregards the law of Moshe died without mercy based on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think one will deserve who has trampled on the son of Ahia, of, of who has regarded as profane the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and who has insulted the spirit of grace. For we know the one who has said, vengeance belongs to me, I will repay. And again, Ahio will judge his people. You have to turn from sin. You have to turn from sin. It's not going to, no. And then once you turn from sin, we're going to read one more scripture. We're going to read one more scripture and then I, I, I got to go because I have some 
things I have to do today. John chapter 10. One more. I want to leave y'all with this encouraging word. And what your father says. Okay? What your father says. Once you turn to him, watch what watch what this is. John chapter 10. We're going to read verses 25 through 30. I did tell you, and you don't believe Yasha answered them. The works that I do in my father's name testify about me, but you don't believe because you are not of my sheep. My sheep hears my voice. Didn't I tell y'all I heard his voice? I heard the voice of on, like on them, the children on Mount Sinai. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. Never perish. This is the father talking. Never perish. No one. No one. The father says no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand. I and the father are one. The father repeats himself. He repeats himself right here. He repeats himself. Let me tell y'all, the father loves you unconditionally and he is waiting for you all to turn to him. That's it. He is waiting for you all to turn to him. Once you turn to him, you repent, turn from your sin, turn, be, be obedient, stop following his laws and commands. He will help you in those areas where you're weak at. Go to him and ask him to help you. We have strongholds. We all have strongholds in our life. And we have to turn, take it to the Father because he is the one that has all power that can move, remove all things. He can do anything. Nothing is impossible when it comes to our Father. Okay? So I wanted to um, just give y'all that quick word of encouragement. Be encouraged. I hope this quick message was edifying to you all. I love you all. A higher willing, I'll be back, um, you know, with another word. I'm not sure at this point if I'm we going to, if I'm going to upload, I may a higher willing upload because that's what I meant to say in my last record. And I wanted to let y'all know I may record things every Friday, upload them every Friday. If it's in the will of the father, I ha I had to come back and correct myself on that because sometimes, you know, the, the father ha don't, I, I'm only going to speak when I get a word from the father and I may not have a word that week. Oh, I may not have something to, you know, because sometimes you, you do and sometimes you don't. But you'll know when you have a word from the Father because it'll be on your heart real heavy and it will not let up. So my my goal is to bring forth the words of the Father each and every week, but it's it's in the Father's hands to uh for to allow me to do what I do. So it's in his hands as to when I'm going to upload, how it's going to be uploaded, you know, that's going to be left up to our Father and who leads and guides me through the Holy Spirit. All right, family, I'm going to say shalom and I will be talking to y'all a little later, okay?